So with the reveal of the recent trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus, we now know that the new forms such as the Huijin Growlithe and Huijin Bravery, as well as brand new evolutions for Pokemon such as Basculin and Statler, are going to be a thing, with Werdir as well as Basculesion being included as brand new evolutions for all Pokemon. Now what is interesting is that we already knew about Huijin, you know, Braviary and Werdir before the reveals of these Pokemon in the recent trailer, as there was a leak of sorts about, the, you know, they showed up about six months ago, or so whenever the first trailer for Legends Arceus dropped during the Pokemon Presents. Now this leak showed us a silhouette of what looks like Werdir and Hisuian Braviary. So now the question is, what is the final Pokemon in the middle of that image and that weird other image? Well, today I want to talk about basically the confirmed leaked Pokemon for Legends Arceus that we most definitely will be getting, as well as some speculation of possible new forms of Pokemon we probably will be seeing based on information we already know. So, that's going to be that. Before we get started, guys, here's the question of the day, which is, what, what, which one of these Pokemon do you think in these, like, you know, images, these leaked images, which do you think these evolutions are for, right? Like, do you think this is an evolution for whatever Pokemon? All right, if you see the first image, is it a far-fetched something else? What do you think? Let me know. Either way, let's get started. So the first Pokemon, which are confirmed, are the pretty obvious ones, right? Like the ones that most likely could happen, right? Which is Hisuian Rufflet, which would then evolve into the Hisuian Braviary. Now, they haven't shown it off yet, but it's most likely going to be Hisuian Rufflet. I mean, I'm assuming so, right? That looks more similar to the design of the Hisuian Braviary, being more white in color and, you know, having those kind of like more almost like psychic-like design to it, right? Now, one thing that makes me doubt the existence of a Hisuian Rufflet is specifically the fact that it mentions that the Rufflet's evolve into this sort of Braviary, the Hisuian Braviary, after going somewhere north in the cold and then returning, which could imply that normal rufflets that we are used to can be basically what we get, right? Just normal rufflets that, because of specific elements, evolve into the Hisuian Braviary, which is different. So either we will get, like, a new Hisuian rufflet form, or we'll just get the old, you know, rufflet, and it will evolve into Hisuian, you know, Hisuian Braviary, essentially. So, what do you guys think about that? Do you think there will be a Hisuian form or not? Hisuian Arcanine. Now, this one is more likely and more possible than the Hisuian Rufflet, and it's because we already see the pre-evolution as a Hisuian form, so it makes total sense that the evolution would also be a regional variant, right? It only makes sense. As for what it might look like, we have a general ID, which is pretty good. See, the Hisuian Growlithe is based off the food dogs, the Chinese food dogs, like these are statues that look like dogs, and in particular, this one may be based on the Koma Inu, a deity found in front of temples as a sort of spiritual guard dog in a lot of temples in Japan, especially the, you know, Koma Inu is found in Hokkaido, which is what, like, you know, Sinnoh and Hisui are based off of. Now, this version of the food dogs does have a counterpart to it called Shisa, which in Japan is found in a bit of a different area. Now, what is interesting about the Hisui and Growlithe is that it mentions that these Growlithe always stick in pairs, which fits with the dichotomy of the food dogs in Japan. The female Shisa have their mouths open, um, unless they are, oh sorry, they have them usually closed, unless they're specifically considered, you know, female, and the males have their mouths open to ward off bad spirits. Overall, what I'm trying to get across is that based on what these, like, real-life statues look like, we can kind of expect Hisui and Arcanine to look more rock-like and similar to the Koma Inu or Shisa statues that we see, you know, in Japan. More likely the Koma Inu, which are more common in Hokkaido, again, the area that Sino Hisui are based on, compared to the Shisa statue, which are more common in Okinawa, which is the opposite side of Japan, which we have yet to get a Pokemon game based on, which will be really cool in the future. The next most likely confirmed Pokemon has got to be the Blue Basculegion. Now, we know that there are two kinds of Basculin, right? The red ones and the blue ones. And what is interesting about Basculegion is that its color looks like the red one, but the fins on it look more similar to the Blue Basculegion. So the question then, you know, which makes me wonder is, we will be getting a Blue Basculegion that has the the fins of the red Basculin, or perhaps the features of the blue Basculin found in the Basculegion will be the only connection to the different colored one, and perhaps you need two Basculegions of different colors to actually merge them into a singular new Basculegion of sorts, right? So basically, you know, will we either get a blue one, or will we get that you need to use two of the colored ones to make a brand new Basculegion that evolves, right? Because it is essentially fueled by the, the spirit of its, like, comrades, right? Like, basically the ghosts of its comrades, so maybe that's where it comes from. Next, we have the climbing leaked Pokemon. So, what is this Pokemon in the middle that we've been seeing 
but we still don't know what the true identity of it is. So this Pokemon has been seen in the same image of the Weird Deer and Hushin, like, you know, Braviary, and it shows a Pokemon which will be able to use, like, we will be able to use to climb mountains and hills and stuff like that. Now, there is a large amount of speculation on what this is. Now, one of the biggest speculations is that this could be a new form of Nuzleaf, right? Like an evolution uh, of Nuzleaf uh, that's different from Shiftry, and that is more slim and just, like, more sleek in design. Now, this wouldn't be too crazy to imagine, as this would perfectly fit with the theory that there will be one new form or evolution for every generation, with so far generation 1, 2, and 5 present with new forms. So another form or evolution for generation 3 would make that theory more complete. Now, what do you guys think about this? Would, would there be a new form for Nuzleafs, you know, possibly here? A new evolution, perhaps? Do you think it's Nuzleaf or do you think it's something else? Because some people are saying some other things. Like, I thought maybe it looked like a Gallade almost. I was like, oh, is that a Gallade? Like, that's kind of what it reminded me of. But it could be something totally different. Now, it could be even like an evolution of, you know, like... A Gallade form that's just different, you know, that's just like a, a Gallade form for this region that's more different than what it used to be, right? Or like a, you know, Hisuian Gallade and not like a normal Gallade that you normally would find here. So maybe that's what it could be. Again, I don't know, I'm mostly speculating here, but I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this and hear what you guys think about it. So let me know in the comment section down below. And finally, we have the image of what looks to be part of the new boss battle feature, which will probably work similar to gym leaders in this game. And now this design is yellow, and it seems to be holding almost like a sword of sorts, like some kind of sword. Now the question is, what exactly is this creature? Well, some have speculated it could be possibly an evolution of a lombre that is brand new. Now here's a cool concept made by the Drake 95 who put together a really cool concept for what it could be like, right? Honestly, the more I look at it, the more it feels like this is what design is, like an evolution of lombre that isn't Ludicolo right? Something different. Now, it feels like it could be a Lombre Evolution of sorts. It serves as a sort of boss battle in the game, a sort of boss battle that you take on instead of the gym leaders. Now, I've talked about this before, but let me explain what I mean by boss battles. Well, basically, the game is not going to allow us to freely explore the whole world. We're not going to be able to go into the world of, you know, Legends Arceus into the Hisui region and go from point A to wherever we wanted, right? We will basically be limited in specific areas, but in those areas, things will be open and we'll be able to freely roam around. And then as we progress, we'll be able to open up more areas and go further. Now, what I'm thinking is going to happen here is that basically in each one of these areas, to basically unlock the next part, we will have to complete the Pokedex parts that we need to do. But then after we've done that, we will have to do the final thing, which is to take on the boss battle Pokemon in this region area, right? This area of the map that we're in. And I'm thinking, personally, I'm really thinking that this is going to be the case and that we're going to be seeing these kind of like boss battle Pokemon as essentially the equivalent to gym leaders in this case that we will battle, defeat, and possibly even catch. And maybe once we've done all of them, maybe they even drop something like, I don't know, the Arceus plates, which we can then use against Arceus later on towards the end of the game. So that's my thought and theory, but that's also the final Pokemon that we have that's pretty much more or less confirmed for these games that we know there is this sort of Pokemon coming so question then is what is it going to be like so those are the most likely confirmed Pokemon that we have yet to fully see revealed in Pokemon Legends Arceus just yet so what do you guys think of these leaked Pokemon and the most likely confirmed Pokemon that we have so far like the uh, you know pre-evolutions and evolutions of certain forms as well as possible new you know forms or evolutions for those two hidden silhouette Pokemon from that leak now what are you guys' thoughts let me know in the comment section down below I'd love to know and again guys thank you so much for the support. Uh, the question of the day, which I asked, you know, asked you at the start, guys, is which one of these Pokemon, basically, that we just listed here, which one of these is most likely for, like, the hidden Pokemon, for, the, like, the silhouettes? Like, do you think it's a Nuzleaf? Do you think it's a Lombre? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. Answer the question if you wouldn't mind, and you have a chance of being featured in the next video. And, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, and bye-bye, ladies and gents.